In my dreams, I see this house. Oh, that's loud. Trippy, though. I feel it calling for me. You think it calls on the phone? Hello? Is your fridge running? Well, you better go find it. Ever since the accident. Whatever I do, I can't stop thinking about this house and Mariana. Mariana? Mariana's Trench? So I answered it. I'm telling you, this is like a well-made Chilla game. <laughs> Which, I mean, Chilla game is a well-made. But you know what I mean. They have a sense of, like, poorly made. Listen, I love Chilla. I've played almost every single one of their games, okay? I can say that. Hi, honey. How are you holding up? You know, taking it one day at a time. How was the funeral? I wish it could have been there for you. I didn't go. I couldn't do it. I understand. She would have understood too. You know that, right? Right. And what about your new house? It's in Mariana, right? Quite a long way away from home. Yeah, I'm on my way there right now, actually. I'm texting and driving, right? And then it just ends because you got in a crash. Thanks for letting me know. Careful not to hurt your back with the boxes. I won't. Wait, I have a map of the house? I would put everything in the living room and then move it. Upstairs master bedroom. Damn, dude, how many bedrooms you got? Having more than one bedroom? That's like a godsend. I, I'm, I'm from LA, so. This is what, 50 million for this house? Can I use a toilet? Yup, that's a toilet. That's one of those things I've heard so much about. I've never used one personally, but. The only guests I'm gonna have are the 20 cats that I'm gonna buy. Well, I'm gonna adopt, of course. And then they're gonna eat me. I will die by by my cat's hands. I watched two bald cats get into a fight earlier. A VHS tape labeled tape number one, my family. I could probably take this to the VHS player and play it. Here we go. Is this a snuff film? As the tape starts playing, I see a middle-aged man hand, handing the camera. I quickly realize that the man is in the same house that I'm in. He's all smiles and as he moves away from the camera and joins his family, as they can be seen playing around in the backyard. I wonder if they're previous owners of the house. His wife and children seem to be having a great time laughing and running around. There's a moment where the wife comes up behind the husband and puts her arm arms around them. They both smile and briefly look at the camera. It's nice, really. I can't help but feel like there's something off, though. It's like there's an underlying tension, a sense of unease that's hard to describe. Maybe it's just me, but I get this feeling that things aren't as perfect as they seem on the surface. Feels like the happiness portrayed here is a deceptive lure, tempting me to bite it and overwhelm me with its actual intentions. It's written on the man's face. It's like he's trying to hide something behind his smile. Maybe it's his crooked teeth. The tape ends when one of the kids trips and falls to the ground while the mother tends to the crying boy. The father's disingenuous smile finally fades away as he approaches the camera to turn it off. Once he's right in front of the frame, Though I get an eerie feeling, an intrusiveness, as if he's caught me pr prying on his personal life. The tape ends. It's a strange feeling watching these recordings of someone else's life. I can't help but wonder what happened to them. Where they are now. Did they move away a long time ago? Or are they still together? It's like I'm peeking into a world that's not mine. A world that's both familiar and foreign at the same time. Ah, oh, shit. I thought it was going to be Lord of the Rings. You know what I'm excited for? One day... I will buy a house and I'm excited to live in a house and not an apartment one day maybe it's this house who knows maybe we're watching my future right now and this is me I'm sure everything goes okay for him right I'm sure it'll all be fine have we gone in here what is this place this carpet reminds the room is locked for some reason I wonder if the key is somewhere around the house this carpet reminds me of the shining the carpet is hideous that's for sure this carpet would be getting ripped up 
Who the hell's knocking? Ah, hello, you must be one of the neighbors. My name is um Toby. Hello there, you must be our new neighbor. Welcome, welcome. Marion is a wonderful town. Lovely people. You look familiar. Do I know you? <laughs> I wonder if she's the wife from the tape. People here are known for their friendliness. That being said, I hope you understand that we take pride in our traditions. Please don't embarrass us with your differences. Ah, I see. The racists. Gotcha. Maybe we are in Texas. Can I help you with anything, ma'am? Well, it couldn't help but notice that the house has been purchased and the new owner would be here today. So I baked you something. Special as a welcoming gift. You got here pretty quickly, huh? Why, yes. Haha, <laughs> I was so anxious to meet my new neighbor in any case. About your welcoming gift. Man, I ain't eating that shit. Think you're gonna love it. I left it on your kitchen counter. She did? Wait, what? What? Oh, don't worry, my dear. I know this house inside out. What? Now do me a favor, my dear, and try some of that pastry I made for you, will you? I'm sure you'll love it. You think she laced it with PCP? Inspect. A plate of gross, gross stoli made by the neighbor. I'm not sure if I should eat this, but the smell is irresistible. Mmm. This is good. Mmm. Okay, now, now she won't be suspicious. Maybe she tries some of that pastry I made for you. I did. It was lovely, madam. It was delicious. The fuck out of my face. Dang it. I have to try it, don't I? I can't flush it. Oh. I was about to say, you have double toilets? He's got a bidet? This house is amazing. What the hell's this house? I mean, this place. Uh-oh. That's the basement. Probably don't want to go down there yet. What is up with the color scheme in this house? There's a blue table, red doors, green walls. All right, let's go try out some of this pig anus that she got got me or whatever it is. I don't know. Hmm. Yummy. She laced it with PCP, didn't she? Uh-oh. <laughs> Get poisoned, bitch, LOL. This note just says, welcome home. I assume it came from that lady, but where did she go? Where did she go? As I unloaded the boxes into my new house, I couldn't help but be reminded of the toll the trip to Mariana had held on me. That combined with this old encounter with the neighbor made me realize I was exhausted. I decided it'd be wise to take a quick nap in the master bedroom. Besides, I was curious to test the comfort of my new bed. You're telling me I'm just going to leave it? Well, I'm, I'm sure nothing bad will ever happen here. She definitely laced that pig anus, yeah. There's no way she didn't. This time, I didn't dream about this house. Hey, at least you didn't dream about the house. No. This time I had a different dream. Uh-oh. What's going on? Is that my wife? Oh, no. My wife and I were in a hurry to the hospital. She was clearly in a lot of pain. Honey, I eat too much pig anus. Oh. I find myself in the car quickly driving to my wife to the hospital since her water had just broken. Honey, are you going to be okay? Yes, just avoid any bumps in the road, please. She gives off a nervous laugh. Have you called your mother? I know, I forgot. Can you tell her once we get there, please? Yes, of course. Thank you, and please remember the highway is blocked now. Please hurry. I will. Hold on to that. Oh my god. I'm a ghost! Oh! Is that how it looks? Was the baby born? Oh my god, what is going on? Jessica? Oh god. How much hot sauce did you put in that pig anus? Oh, what a dream, dude. What a horrible nightmare. That dripping noise. I heard it while I was asleep. Where's it coming from? Oh, so that's actual noise? <gasps> Another tape. Uh, open your mouth so it lands in your mouth. Thirsty. Another tape. VHS tape labeled tape number two, the accident. Huh. Okay then. Inspect. Oh great, there's a leak in the ceiling. I guess that's what I get for buying an old house. Hmm, I got a weird feeling about this though. 
can't quite explain it. Maybe it's the constant noise. Maybe it's the water itself. I don't know. I just can't shake the odd feeling. I'll see to it tomorrow. I just can't be bothered right now. Gotta go back to bed, he said. Did you say gotta go back to bed? Time for sleep. <sighs> Who cares about that? leak in the ceiling and the tape we found i need my rest yeah by the way did i just leave the truck open wide open good morning son your mom told me you arrived in mariana yesterday how is it going oh that's our dad hey dad well you know got it that mold's getting worse all right let's see about this tape Tape shows that man, who I assume was the previous owner of this house, working in the basement with the camera sitting on a counter and pointing at him. He seems to be alone in the house, although I can just about hear his children playing in the backyard. The tape is slightly damaged, but I can make most of what's happening. For a few seconds, he just stays there in silence, as if anxiously rehearsing his first words to the camera. When he finally starts speaking, I'm suddenly caught by a sense of uneasiness and shiver slightly. The man also seems uneasy and disturbed. His words measured and hesitant give off a sense that he's trying to describe a feeling that he cannot fully comprehend but that has taken over him. He speaks of a sense of impending disaster of a terrible event he thinks is about to occur to his family. He's less and less coherent until he's taken by his own emotions and accidentally drops the tool he was using on the ground. He starts crying, carefully covering his mouth so that no one notices him. He mentions the terrible event will be his fault. Watching him, I ha can't help but feel that his words are directed at me somehow. It's as if he knows what I'm, that I'm here watching this and is trying to communicate with me. The way he talks about the events is as if they had already happened. But then why is he doing this? Why isn't he doing anything to prevent it from happening? And what's the point of these tapes? Yeah, did he eat a fresh batch of pig anus? Last final box, what the hell is that? Dear God, I'm seeing things. This is all mine? I live in like a fucking compound. So there's a pig anus here? Oh shit, some leftover pig anus. Oh, hey. What the fuck? I was bringing in the boxes. I couldn't help but repeatedly ask myself that what was I actually doing here. I acted on impulse when I bought this house, but the, the vivid and recurrent dream I had after the accident plagued my mind and kept haunting me until I finally gave in. It's like I didn't have a choice. Maybe it's desperation to start fresh or need to escape the memories of that dreadful night. But here I was in this unfamiliar place with no one but myself. For a moment, I questioned my sanity. So I took a deep breath, letting my musty sm the musty smell of the old house fill my lungs. And with a sense of determination, I whispered to myself, I'm here now. And I have to make the most of it. Still, I felt like I needed to turn this into my new home. So I set out to unpack all the boxes and decorate the place. Not before I get a helping he full of anus. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm. Is this tape three? Ooh. <gasps> the rumble. As the tape starts playing, the scene before me is disorienting and extremely unsettling. The man from the previous tape stands in a place impossible to identify. He appears to hover in darkness, surrounded by countless long red streaks that stretch as far as the I can see like veins that mysteriously emerge from the uh, uh, from above and just as unexpectedly disappear beneath him. Oddly enough, I can feel them pulsating beyond the screen and onto my chest, suffocating me with the same feeling the man appears to be experiencing. In the crushing darkness, I inexplicably feel the man's despair, guilt, and regret, yet I cannot bring myself to stop the tape and keep watching it. The camera shakes and glitches, and it, it at times seems to be part of the man's body somehow. His demeanor terrifies me. His words are fragmented, barely forming coherent sentences. In the brief moments that I see his face, there's a deep ache in his eyes, as if he carries an overwhelming burden on his shoulders. He stammers feelings of regret and calls for his family, but he's all alone in that place. I feel like his family is no longer reachable, and he blames himself for it. It's a haunting sight. I can feel his pain seeping through the screen, echoing within my own being, as if he somehow shared consciousness. In the midst of his own turmoil, his mouth opens wide, ready to unleash his agonies, but before he can do so, the tape abruptly ends. I hear noises. I feel broken by the intensity of what I've just witnessed, and I almost feel ashamed to look at my own reflection on the screen, and yet I still feel like that was this was needed somehow. Huh. Man, that pig anus ain't sitting well. Oh, 
a blender. That's good. A toaster. A teapot. A dildo. A thing. That's good. What the fuck even is- what is that? Is that for water? Quite lovely this house is. What is that? Is that a vase? Okay, we got a fan. Um, just pop it, pop it there. A pillow. That TV is uh, oddly close, by the way. Let me uh, rotate that real quick. It's gonna make me care for the house and then the house is gonna blow up, isn't it? Interior decorator on the side? How do you know I'm not? You don't know what I do on my spare time. Put down behind the couch so I don't see it because it's more ugly. I don't think I have enough books to fill this. We'll say this is it's the start of a new collection, you know? Look at that, look at that setup though. That's a fucking PC right there. That's a powerhouse too. We need a phone, obviously. There you go. You're telling me that's not a good phone placement. You're telling me that's not a good phone placement. You are out of your mind if you don't think that's a good placement for that phone. Oh no. <gasps> Is that the pig anus lady? Hello? Oh! What the fuck was in that pig anus, dude? Listen to the static. The TV turned itself on. I can just make out the sound over the static. Is that someone crying? Fresh plate of pig anus? Wait, wasn't there a door here or am I crazy? Yo. There's, there was definitely a door right here, right? Toothbrush. Towel rack. Huh? Dear God. Your hump fucking scared the shit out of me. What was that noise? I think it came from the basement. No, it's probably the TV. It turned itself on again. Yo, I ain't going down there. I mean, you guys are actually kind of right. Like, I might kill it as an interior designer. I don't know if you guys if you want to hire me, I guess let me know, right? I don't think it's letting me f Uh oh. The doors are gone. Guys, guys the doors are gone. The doors are gone. Uh oh. They're gone. The doors are gone. Uh oh. That has gotten much worse. What is that? Oh god, what is happening here? This is terrible. This thing is quickly deteriorating the ceiling. I feel like I have to do something or will collapse soon, but I can barely look at this thing. It's making me lightheaded and nauseous. It's frustrating though. I know I need to take care of it, but I feel repulsed that all I can do is ignore it. God, I hate looking at it. Why don't you just eat it? The windows. The windows are also gone, but that's the name of the game, so. Oh, maybe I could go online and look up how to uh, fix ceilings. I thought I was going to become an interior decorator. Wait, isn't this the only window that's available? Uh-oh. Did I do that? I don't think... Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh! Fuck it! Hello? Yo, what was in that pig anus, man? Wait, it's all red now. Oh, this is like the threads that were we were talking about with the other guy. This is like what we saw on the tape. Is that him? I've fallen in love with the house. Now I can't look back. Help, sir! Can I get the recipe to that pig anus, please? Is that our wife? Uh-oh. Honey, have you tried pig? Uh oh. Who 
texted me. It was your fault. What? Our, my mom said it was my fault. Oh. Oh. What's happening? Uh-oh. This thing has really transformed. I can't fathom what I'm seeing. There's an extremely repulsive slime forming from the leak in the ceiling and gives off a horrible stench. That makes me nauseous, lightheaded, and disoriented. It looks alive. Slime waifu? Whoa! Whoa, that was actually really fucking creepy. Whoa, dude. What is that? Oh, I don't like that. Oh my god. That's so creepy. A working VHS player. Oh shit. Birth. As the tape starts playing, I find myself instantly immersed in a nightmarish, distorted reflection of the man's tormented psyche. The scene is a collection of fragmented images, disjointed sounds and memories, and deeply unsettling feelings somehow merged and played all at once. It's an incoherent mess. I can barely make out what I'm seeing. It frightens me to the core. At the same time, it's sort of beautiful and makes sense to me. The man's face and body are completely distorted beyond recognition. If I ever knew who he was before, I can no longer and never will again. But at this moment, I feel an overwhelming surge of empathy for him, as if his pain reverberated within my own body. The tape becomes a conduit for his suffering, a mirror reflection of my own battle along with his. The fragment of his voice reaching my ears like shards of broken glass speak of a foreshadowed catastrophe that has shattered his world just like mine. In the midst of the chaos there's a moment of eerie stillness. The man's eyes meet mine through the flickering and glitchy screen, a fleeting recognition that sends a chill down my spine. He's now fully aware of my presence and his torment reaches beyond the confines of the tape. And then... A crescendo of madness and despair, the tape abruptly cuts off. The abrupt ending leaves me gasping for breath, my heart pounding in my chest. The darkness lingers, echoing with unanswered questions and haunting whispers. It's haunting and inviting all at once. I'm left grappling with the fragments of his shattered existence, piercing together the shards of his unraveling mind. The man is gone forever now. The tape has become a portal into the dark, darkest recesses of our consciousness, forcing us to confront the demons that lurk within. I'm pretty sure somebody left this exact comment on my YouTube video of uh, part 14 of uh, Dark Souls 3's uh, poorly translated. The exact same thing. Look how fast I am though. Everything's backwards now. So does that mean I'm on the roof and she's on the floor? Inspect. These paintings seem to have been painted by Jessica, but I've never seen them before. Huh. I don't know what the fuck I hear behind me. That is terrifying. I don't want to see it. I want to go back. How is that that the basement is the least scary part? This is like, uh, it reminds me of like a HP Lovecraft, especially like the writing as well reminds me of HP Lovecraft. That's how he fucking writes extreme, like, descriptions of things. The fuck, dude? Oh boy. Have I gone through this one? Oh shit. It's becoming more... I hate- there's like a baby crying. You returned from the void, what'd you miss? You missed... So much. Is that a person? Oh my god. What- wait, what happens if I go upstairs? Is there anything upstairs though? <sighs> well, of course not. 
<laughs> Run! Jessica! Honey! Honey? She seems to be distracted by something right in front of her. Did you see the latest painting I made? Each took an eternity to finish, but I think they turned out perfect. I did. I was thinking of you and our baby Laura, you know? That's why they look so wonderful. Jessica, do you remember the question you asked? Uh, I used to ask you? What does God look like? Yo, straight up, if somebody fucking asked me what does God look like, I'd leave that bitch. Yes, what does God look like, huh? It's funny that you were never religious, but you've always tried to help me understand why we could never see, truly see, and really appreciate that, you know? I really miss you. But I see him now, she smiles. I see him and he's beautiful. Do you see him too? Yes, I see him too. Wonderful, isn't it? So, oh, I fucking clicked that by accident. Oh, don't worry about me anymore. We have our baby to care for now, silly. Do you hear that? She's crying, the poor thing. I should go check on her little girl. She's probably hungry. She wants milk and me too. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Honey, when are you going to lose the baby fat? Is our kid that slime? We had a slime child. Oh. Honey? Look at you, honey. See, I told your father you're hungry, aren't you? Don't worry, Laura. Mommy will feed you. Oh, hello, darling. You've been away for a while. We've barely seen you recently. Come to think of it, where have you been? Don't you miss us? It's so lonely and empty here. And Laura doesn't stop crying for her dad. Honey, I think it's time I let you go. No, no. You know what? I have a better idea. Why don't you join us? Oh, Laura misses you so much and she's so hungry all the time. I really want to satiate her hunger. I can't see her suffering like this. I can't join you. I'm so sorry. I see. Oh, she's so hungry. Look at her. I'll go ahead and feed her now then. Pity you can't join us. She really needs her daddy. Is she going to feed herself to the slime? She's going to feed herself to the slime. She's going to feed herself to the slime. She's going to feed herself to the slime. Would you like some ketchup with that? <laughs> Fuck no, I didn't jump in the slime. Let, we gotta let our family go. Let's let them go. Is that it? What the fuck? The leak seems to have stopped. So... We're back? Well, that was a hell of a pig anus I ate, huh? The doors are, everything's back. Leave the house. The windows came back. I know, that's amazing deco. Whoever decorated this house did an incredible job. Look at the decorations. Guilt has haunted me. So I built a labyrinth. and found my way out. Hmm. Wow, okay. Not gonna lie, for like a free, like, short game, that was intense, dude. That was great. Hey, I got the good ending, baby! Let's fucking go, and better yet, I decorated the shit out of that house.